What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Full Shock of the Night. It's Hedgehog here with our Week 3 WWC team matchup. You're going against Mix 07. If you guys are excited, leave a like, haven't already subscribed. If you are new, join the Full Shocker crew today because you'll be filling with the king of the crew. I'm not going to delay this any longer. We are just going to go ahead and just challenge them right now. Because I once again forget to change the valve. I am glad I catch it right off the bat and fix it. But I hate that I forget. Lord. Wow, he actually brought the Blissey. It's very interesting. Uh, no Gudra. Interesting. But did bring the Blissey. I'm actually generally surprised. I'm generally surprised he brought Blissey. Hmm. That's like really interesting. Like I'm actually kind of surprised he would bring Blissey against my team. So my diggers be kind of just wins if I get an agility off. My hmm. I think I lose nothing kind of just leading off here with my Sonic here. He's going to lead off with Zapdos here. So... Cinderance... Versus Zapdos. I hate the spelling. Scarfed. A Zen Headbutt could do some pretty good damage here, but a Brave Bird would probably knock me out. Powerball has a good chance to knock him out here. I think I'm just going to make the safe play and just Pyro here. He's going to do U-Turn, which does 18. About a max roll right there. About 21%. I'm going to take my chances here, and he does confirm Scarf to me. So I'm going to take my chances here. Go for the Zen Headbutt. Ooh, that only did 33%. So he's going to set up Toxic Spikes. Interesting. I think he's going to recover here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bulk up here. I don't know why he would bring Toxic Spikes versus versus my team. That kind of doesn't make any sense. I could just have Defog on Hydreigon. I don't understand why he would do that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful, baby. I have the high jump kick for this specific reason. Then do neutral. It's going to pardon shot. And I could have core change. I don't know why he's doing this. So he's probably going to go back into the Toxapex here, but that's really, really good now. I'm going to go Hyrule here. He's going to Scald. I'm going to go for the SD right here. Doesn't get the burn. I'm going to go for the Psycho Cut here. We get a flinch. Don't, don't, don't. All right. 
I'm going to go for the Shadow Claw. This should kill, even at plus one. <laughs> nice. So, Instant's gone. So, I am plus one. Scizor comes in. I'm pretty sure Scizor can't kill me. Mega, Scizor. Come on. If he's bulky... In blade form, bullet punch... Wow, he put me right in range of bullet punch. Well, I can't really save this thing, so I might as well just let it go down. That only did 50%. Wow, he's extremely bulky. Alright, so it's looking like Hydreigon is the win con here. I have to go Ocean. And what I think I gotta go for here is I gotta go for the Psychic, I think. I'm gonna U-turn here. I'm gonna go Jigger's Dang it, he teleported. I think I need to keep Diggersby around. Dang, I was not expecting that teleport right on the play right there. It's gonna Thunderous kick me here. I'm just gonna click Psychic here. Alright, now I go to Kodakai right here. I'm clicking Bulk up here. Oh, I forgot to Mega Ball. I'm going to take the very risky play and sub substituting here. I have to get a crit right here. Got the crit! Let's go. That gives me a chance right now. Gives me that chance for Diggersby. That's very important right there. That gives me a chance for Di when did Diggersby here. I'm going to Drain Punch. He's just going to click Drain. He's gonna he was going to say... Oh, he lived! Oh, I was not actually expecting to live that. But I dropped Scizor. In comes Zapdos now. I just gotta sack this here. He's gonna click U-turn here. If he's gonna go Pex... Which he does do... Can I live a hit from Tox Apex? Tox Apex. He's the Pex set. To my Diggersby. Skull only does 40 to 47. So agility up here. That drops. I think Diggersby cleans right here. If he was fully fully, that was a max roll. The crit on Scizor. In comes Zapdos. Oh. That is very unfortunate. I click Dragon Pulse here. Interesting. I go right into my... I was going to do more to Blissey right here. Blissey. Let's just say for some for some reason he's defensive. Cinderance. A Seismic Toss does knock me out here. What's going to do the most to him? High jump kick does. I have to go for the high jump kick here.
Knock him out, and we win the game. We win this game 1-0. We win this game 1-0. Let's go, baby. Knew that Chobbleberry came in the clutch right there. We win the game 1-0. That was a little more closer than I was looking for right there, but we win the game 1-0. Hydreigon in the back right there. Age of Slash did get to put in a little bit of work this week, which was really good. Um, definitely the crits really played a little bit of factor in right there. But again, it was a it was a good chance to crit move. Um, I do need to bring some things that was gonna crit his team. Uh, definitely played into our strategy right there. That course still going down. Um, definitely putting Hydreigon back in the team right there was really good. Oh man, the fact that he didn't bring Gujo put us in a little bit of back foot. Um, I wish I had kind of played around. And brought maybe King Shield or something like that. But hey, it was too late to really switch up the I had. And again, this was another team I had to just kind of input in. But Diggersby putting in a ton of work. I actually want to know on that Zapdos. Was that a roll? Was that a roll for that to not kill? Uh, Diggersby. Wow. So we had to get a tiny bit of chip damage for the roll in our favor. But if we did, if we did get that roll, Diggers be just swept. So for Blissey to just straight up die versus my Cinderance, it must have not been bold. So if he's not bold, then yeah, that was a guaranteed knockout. And Pyro all the way, but we went for the high jump kick. Cinderance coming in the clutch, man, with those with that KO as well. So everyone picking up at least one KO in this game. Um... Uh, well, two kills for freaking Mega Medicham, though. Picking up two kills, that's pretty nice. Um, the crit on Scizor. Um, Scizor. And, you know, I just want to do some, like, calcing here. Uh, let me look, actually, let me look at that. Age of Sash Blade. Plus one. Yeah, I think, he actually, he was the um one set. Because he was at 49%. So he might have been that one set. So with Medicham at plus one. Yeah, the crit did not matter unless he had a lot more defense investment. So the crit did not matter there. But yeah, massive GG's to Mystic. We now go to two and one in WWC right now with the team that we've got going on right now. So Medicham picking up a nice two KOs. KO for Cinderance. KO for Age of Slash, believe it or not. A KO for Diggers B in the last KO going to Trigon. I knew if I had saved Trigon there, we would have won the game. And it also would have came down if whether or not he was going to... If he lived on 1%, he either would have had a soft foil or he would have had to just kill me off. Because I don't think he was going to be able to soft foil enough to where he could have won the game. Um, definitely not going that expert belt route. Kind of scared me a little bit, for sure. But hey, it is what it is, man. We almost would have won off again of Diggers B if we had just gotten that roll. Oh, that roll. Uh, but you, you can't imagine. I had to go Jolly. If I was adamant, I think I would have been able, but I'm pretty sure if I was adamant, if I remember, I was not outspeeding Scarf Zapdos. So it's a little in shame because we would have probably knocked it out and swept with Diggers B, but hey, you had to be safe and sorry. But yeah, that's going to be the game, guys. GG's to Mystic Ascend. Again, if you guys enjoyed what you liked, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the Phil Shocker crew today because we'll be filming the King of the Crew. But until next time, guys, I'm Phil Shocker and the Nice Day I'll see you guys next week. Peace.